What up, guys? This is Banana Owns here, bringing you part 20 of my Skyward Sword Let's Play. We made it 20 parts in. Holy shit, that is a l that is a long time. I think like the whole series itself so far is like almost five hours. Man, that is a long time. And if you've been watching, thank you for sticking with me through all my bad jokes and all my good references and overall terrible quality of this let's play but I am learning and <laughs> hopefully in the next series of videos I can get that special guest again or at least a different special guest do some more dual commentaries because that was pretty fun actually anyway let's continue along in our journey of the Leneru mining facility this video is gonna go up right up to the boss battle like all these videos have been and well Let's well just continue exploring here. So let's fuck up these little scorpions. I think in reality you're supposed to like blow them off of the edge to be little, but I just said fuck that and YOLO, and I just fucking just went for it. Pick up this fucking golden amber relic right here. Let's see here. Like what the fuck am I supposed to do? This is one of these moments where I'm like, what's going on? I have no idea where I am. That's a good Zelda moment. That knows that means like they made the game right. As if you're like, I have no idea what to do. So I'm just looking around here. I see like a little statue, so I'm like, okay, there's a time crystal here somewhere. <gasps> there's one right behind the fence! Oh my god! So let me just shoot this real quick. You didn't see that first miss. I, I made it the first try. You know, it's, it's funny, because my slingshot skills range from being able to snipe people from across great distances to not being able to hit anything at all. It's like, I'm like, I'm like, a really good sniper. I'm like the sniper from Team Fortress 2 where I'm so cool and calculating and I can just fuck shit up and then all of a sudden I just like develop Parkinson's or something. I don't know what's up. But anyway, uh, these are the Armos in this game. And let's see here. You can see my little strategy here is you have to blow the little fan on top of their head so they can open their mouths and then thrust your sword and then take them out. They're really easy to take out actually. They get a lot more difficult when there's groups of them. Just like well, any, any Zelda game. When there's giant groups of them because they overwhelm you pretty quickly and especially when they go on a little bit of a rampage kind of sucks <laughs> but see let's hear this is, we're like half an hour into this dungeon and we're just getting the map <laughs> and it kind of just like shows you like two treasure chests and like two more rooms there isn't like a lot of rooms in this dungeon at all so it's, it's really late in the game. I think it's really weird because you get the, the item of the dungeon before you get the map. Oh, oh well. It's cool, I guess. <laughs> so let's go back to this main hub area. Just moving along. Moving right along. Da -da 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 -da. It's just, that's from the, the Little Muppets album. See, let's hit this switch so we can easily get back to this area just in case we fuck up or I have to go do something or save. Okay, now... Do you remember the last video, well, the last video is the last series of videos where you had to cross that main Leneru mine area, and there was those um, pits in the sand that the guy, that the robotic grumpy cat showed you, like where the, the pits in the sand where there was like pa platforms or something buried underneath the sand so you can stand on it? That's the same case in this little side area right here. I'm just like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> And I'm like, oh no, I don't, I don't want to die, I don't want to fall again, I don't want to be embarrassed. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So, see, you need to be smart, kids, and check the map. I, I, I noticed something, I'm like, wait a minute. <gasps> There's a freaking platform that's buried underneath these. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're so fucking cool. I'm so fucking good at this game. And... These little side areas take a long time to explore, but they're pretty cool. They have like rupees and special things, and actually you have to go into at least one of them. So I'm crawling through the ducks. This is, I'm like fucking. Hmm. How? What games do you like crawl through ducks? Like maybe like a, just normal health game, like a Deus Ex or a Hitman. But this is like, or like Metal Gear Solid, although it's not a cardboard box. So, but they're fucking close enough fucking Metal Gear Zelda right here. It's just like Wind Waker all over again. Only crawling through ducks. It's really, it's really like, awkward. and Because you have, like, full 360-degree control, and I don't understand how it works sometimes. Like, Link is, like, 
super flexible. But oh well. He's pretty cool. He's pretty cool like that. I suppose you, you don't get in the Night Academy for nothing. You gotta be freaking amazingly flexible in order to be cool. But let's see here. Let's get some Amber Relic. Picked up whatever was in that chest. Blowing some sand. You know, all that jazz. See, like, this is a boring part because I'm, I'm just really, like, exploring a bit. Getting some rupees. I kind of have a lot already. It's not really necessary, but whatever. I bought that wallet upgrade. Or did I buy that wallet upgrade? Yeah, I did. Okay, I bought the wallet upgrade. Yeah, I can hold 600 rupees, bitch. That's fucking a lot. <gasps> you can, Okay. You can hold so many goddamn rupees in this game. I think you can get up to, like, 1,500 or something. It's something ridiculous. There's, like, three three uh like bags you can buy f with your wallet on a from a beetle shop that gives you like an extra 900 rupees and then the uh beatrix the uh, little demon guy with the gratitude crystal he upgrades your wallet as well and like at a certain point i don't think you ever <laughs> like run out <laughs> once you start getting like once you get into like the thousands mark and you're just like holy shit that is a lot of fucking rupees here. Let's wait for this electric slime here. You notice this whole dungeon and this really whole area has a a sand and electricity theme because it, it really shows like how advanced this area was, but it's just fallen into decay. So it's, that's pretty cool. This little theme area it has a, their own electric enemies. So it's very nice and cool. It's consistent at least. <laughs> so here are some more uh, duct crawling. I don't. I sh are these ducks or vents it's like minecraft all over again is that a chicken or a duck i think it's a chicken but i hear some people call it a duck and it's really awkward because that's what i man, i believe the official source man i believe what's canon in the zelda game and it's really weird when link just has like full 360 control of the vents i'm so used to like ocarina of time or twilight princess where you just like move in a straight line and it's just, it's weird, it's weird to me. It, it makes playing those vents parts, those vents part, vent, vent parts, that was really difficult to say. Okay, it makes playing these parts where you're crawling, it just makes them a, a little bit more easier and a lot easier to navigate, I guess. And it really, okay, I don't even know what I was doing there. I'm very, I apologize for you guys having to see that, for all two of you. Just, just wow. I'm just... I'm failing so hard. So hardcore. Let's see, you're fucking blowing around sand. Do you think, like, the interior decorator of this place would get angry that I'm moving their giant sand piles around? Or do you think they they really don't care? Maybe, like, these giant sand piles and... I mean, I cannot talk right now. Good thing I'm recording this video while I can't talk. I can... Do you think the interior director Wow. That's what I basically sound like right now. Okay, I'm okay, I'm just blowing off some sand here. Like fucking sand. Get the fuck out of here. It's like fucking Sandman from Spider-Man. I'm like killing him right now. Fucking die, Sandman! Die. And this whole room is just like a giant maze and you have to blow around the sand and get rid of these spiky thingies. We'll just avoid the spiky thingies. And there's puffer fish, and it's so fucking cool. I don't understand how puffer fish really relate to the desert, so to speak. It's really kind of awkward because that that's not a desert animal. It's a fucking water animal. That does not make sense. I need I need to, the Chewbacca defense right now. That does not make sense. What, what was it? The who's OJ's lawyer? Was it Cochrane? I need, Co I need Cochran to represent the Zelda team right now for deciding to make Pufferfish in a Zelda game. In the sand area, at least. It's like pulling Pokemon and you find a Quillfish in a desert. What the fuck is up with that? It just doesn't work that way. It goes against all that I believe in. Next thing you know, people are going to be telling me Santa isn't real. <sighs> fucking idiots. Of course Santa's real. How do I get presents underneath the Christmas tree? And I really like my timely Christmas reference, and it's almost the end of January. <laughs> but hey, man, Valentine's Day is coming up. 
guys got anything cool planned for Valentine's Day? Post in the comments and I'll, I'll tell you if it's a good idea or not. Or is everyone that watches these forever alone? Oh well. Hey man, don't be sad. Everyone has a special someone out there. To all your forever alone types. And remember, on Valentine's Day, just get drunk and watch sad movies. That's what I'm gonna do. Fuck it, I'm gonna watch The Notebook and cry again. <laughs> the Notebook. <laughs> he wrote her a letter for every single day of the year. Man, did I really just make a notebook reference? I'm sorry for the awkward pause right there, but I really just made a notebook reference. Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be saying that here. A fucking notebook reference. Jesus Christ, in a Legend of Zelda video. What the fuck? I apologize for the notebook reference, although Ryan Gosling is pretty hot. And Rachel McAdams is pretty hot as well. In fact, they're both pretty hot. You know what? You no, know it's just fucking amazing. Just fucking amazing. I think I saw the uh, the Val, which is basically like the Notebook Two, with Shanning Tatum instead of Ryan Gosling, and it really it's just it's just the Notebook Two with like no, but it is like the Notebook actually because the chick loses her memory, and in the Notebook, spoiler alert, when they're old, the chick in that loses her memory as well. Holy shit! Fuck. Fucking, I'm smart. Whoa. I am fucking a genius. Oh my god. Oh, just... Is that how Nicholas Sparks ties in his novels? I'm pretty sure every female on this earth has read at least one Nicholas Sparks novel or seen one Nicholas Sparks movie. Or, or multiple, probably multiple, in fact, but... Where am I going from this tangent? I don't know. I'm afraid where it's taking me. I don't like. I don't like where this is going. I'm gonna stop. Okay. See, I'm getting fucked up here because these minecarts or time crystals move on a track, and you have to keep up with them, or else the platforms will disappear, and you'll get fucked up even more. But I had that damn rocket flying drone thingy like shooting at me, and it was really awkward because he's like fucking me up, and I couldn't really do anything against him. And I was trying to do something against him, but. He was just fucking me up even more. Just like fucking rockets. But I like those enemies, so they get a free pass. Man, these are terrible voiceovers today. <laughs> I'm just when I usually record these, I do it after I watch How I Met Your Mother, and I have my my laugh center pressed, and I'm like I'm like ready to go. But oh no. They, 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 they took a week off of How I Met Your Mother this week. Makes me really sad, especially after last week's episode. It was pretty funny with, uh, spoiler alert, Ted uh, sleeping with Barney's sister. And it's really great. I, oh, and more How I Met Your Mother news. I know, okay, I know that there's this one guy that I posted these videos and he says, like, I hate it you don't talk about what's happening in the game too much. I have to admit, I wish I could talk more about the game as well, but. I'm not that entertaining talking about the game. I tend to say but um and well anyways a lot more than I usually do. <laughs> so I just, I don't know, I get off random tangents. It's the way my mind works sometimes. So I hope if you're watching these, you're at least entertained by my random tangents and just watching cool gameplay along as I just talk about random things. But anyways, How I Met Your Mother is in its eighth season right now and they just got renewed for a ninth season, which is going to be the last season. I, well. It should be the last season. I think. I think Jason Siegel said he won't, he won't do another one after this ninth one. I think. I think I read somewhere that they barely convinced Jason Siegel to stay on and to do another season of How I Met Your Mother, because well, he's like an actual fucking movie star now, and you no, know, so is Colby Smol Smolders and Allison Hannigan, and Neil Patrick Harris are like big stars. They had, they've done a lot of other things. The guy that plays Ted, uh, Joss Radner. Uh, he, he's done like a lot of independent movies and directed a lot of independent movies, but I kind of noticed that he hasn't done any other like big movies or big projects. Pretty much like everyone else in that cast has done. I don't know if that's just that's, I don't know. It's just kind of weird to me because Alison Hannigan, obviously from American Pie, and uh, she was in Buffy as well. Then Neil Patrick Harris, you know Doogie Howser, and being an overall badass 
as he does. And being a gay badass. Man, he can get anyone to sleep with him in the world. I just... Straight men. Women. Gay men. Gay women, probably, too. He's just... He just has the... He just has those powers. Man, it's just like... It, you know, at that point, it's not even gay. It's art. I know I, I just stole that joke from Tosh.0, oh, considering the... Was it the Brad Pitt and David Beckham baby? The mythological baby? I just watched a comedy special, special the other day, so... It's a bit fresh in my mind. Man, oh, God. This is, this is a terrible voiceover. I apologize for anyone that has to sit through this. Especially since I, it's a bit of a longer episode, but... I'm almost done with this dungeon. I'm about... Oh, halfway or so through this voiceover. It's a long one. I apologize. It'll be done soon enough. Just, you can think happy thoughts. You can just watch the gameplay. Which looks amazing, because it's recorded on my Aver Media Game Capture HD. Huh? Huh? Come on, Aver Media. I could do a sponsorship. You can give me money. I already, I already did the... Oh, God, what is it? I did the last video. I did, like... Oh, I, I did, like, a false... Prim like false ad for something and it was pretty funny I think <laughs> so let's hear this has been brought to you by Aver Media Game Capture Pro well brought to you okay let's hear let's see if I can do this do this ad right this video has been brought to you by Aver Media bringing you the essential game capturing qualities this video in particular was captured by a game capture HD no computer necessary you just need a just need a fucking portable hard drive. There you go. Let's hear fucking Steam. That's like the only time I've said fucking Steam in my life, because Steam on the PC is so awesome. But fucking Steam. Jesus Christ, I'm getting fucked up by, like, blast of hot air. Okay, but, man, that was a weird, weird, weird tangent. <laughs> anyway, these videos look very nice because I record them. In uh, with the uh, component cables and with my Game Capture HD, and they record very nice. And I think the video quality is very good considering the Wii doesn't really have HD compatibilities. When I get my Wii U, bitches, when I get my Wii U, bitches, Wind Waker HD, I can't wait. I can't wait. I've already talked about this enough, though. Just, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. See, here, I'm getting, getting a little stuck right here. As you see, more cool conveyor belts and chisnit. Kill some keys. Electric keys, in fact. They shock me. Fucking it. But I, I stab them in the face. In their bat faces with store. Keys are to this game or what Zubats are to Pokemon. They're just annoying. They serve no purpose just to, just to piss me off. But, okay, fucking. I'm lost. I'm lost. But fucking, where am I supposed to go? Let's see here. Down this one, maybe? Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm making myself look like a fool in front of the people. And the people are the ones that make that watch these videos that give me all 20 views. I don't like messing, messing up in front of the people. Let's see here. Oh, God. I need to activate that time crystal somehow, but it's covered in sand. And I need to get over there. Let's see here. Let's avoid some more steam. I guess. See, this gate's locked, so I'm just, I'm fucking lost. Okay, let's continue moving along. I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to use, how to get that time crystal activated. I see some pots up there. Whoa, wait a minute. There's some pots and slabs. Maybe if I throw a bomb into them. Oh, they're close enough where I can actually throw the bombs. Oh God. Why, why doesn't me playing this realize that? You're so close. You're so close, me. Well, past me. <laughs> past me was like, this is future Jeremy's problem. Well, future Banana's problem in order to figure out how to do this. Let's see, there we go. Throw some... Okay, here's what I really enjoy about this game. That your bombs have a little guiding arc to them when you're throwing that cho shows you where they're going to go. I used to hate that in all the Zelda games, trying to like figure out where to place bombs exactly, but in this one, you know how to place them perfectly, and it's fucking amazing, and it's one of the greatest fucking developments in any Zelda game. I, I'm sure I'm overselling that a lot, but it just, anything that makes it easier, like, takes out like a, not like a terrible problem, but an unnecessary problem is like, it just, it just makes me happy. It makes me happy. 
I like Eli. Like Eli Manning, seventh grade retard. Or Manti Tail. <laughs> I suppose I should. Oh, excuse me, there, my cough. I suppose I should talk about Manti Tail. <laughs> That's the cool thing. All I know is that uh, Lance Armstrong probably should send him a gift basket for taking all the heat off of him. Because I haven't heard a single thing about Lance Armstrong since Manti Tail. It's just all a bit about him. I think I was listening to the Adam Crowell podcast, and I believe he is absolutely spot on there. When it's either evil, well, it's either lying or stupid. And after watching Manti Teo's interview with Katie Couric, I think Manti Teo is mentally retarded. <laughs> He's, like, not a smart man. <laughs> I think, like, just, you can tell he is not the sharpest crayon in the crayon box. Just, wow, that he guy's an idiot. You know, compared to, like, like, last year, like, RG3, he's like very well spoken and articulate, and a lot of football players are actually have decent speaking skills and they give good interviews, but and don't appear to be absolutely stupid. <laughs> but just wow, just wow. And I know I'm talking, making fun of someone for being stupid here, and I just throw a bomb and miss that fucking pot, even when I'm talking about the the bomb arcs that it shows you where to throw them. <laughs> and then that thing falls on me. Oh god, I'm as stupid as Manti Teo. At least I don't have an. At least I'm not dating someone that's imaginary. Well, maybe my right hand, but I think we're on speaking terms now, so it's all cool. It's all cool. <laughs> I just like I like talking about like how easy this Zelda game is, and like I still like get lost all the time, and I get like fucked up, and I die, and it, it's absolutely hilarious because like I think it's just because I'm talking so much shit. Like, oh, this game's easy. I think it's. I don't really believe in karma, but I just think it's just absolutely hilarious. <laughs> just like, I'm just like fucking up all the time in this let's play and... <laughs> God, I'm stupid sometimes. <laughs> I apologize. Apologize, I'm getting better. I'm getting better slowly and surely, except for these voiceovers. These ones aren't better, but eh, maybe the next maybe the next few will be good. Hopefully, hopefully next week. <laughs> I'll step it up. Step up my voiceover game. And, oh god, I think you're about to see me uh, get stuck here. Like, okay, this, there's this puzzle right here. Let's see, I need to blow these fucking fan over. It's this puzzle over here. First of all, you have to, to blow down these pots like a boss. And just going to wait for that. Okay, move on the fan. As you see, like, there's these crystals here. And if you were paying attention to the other side, there are... It's like giving you like an order, there are pallets saying like one, two, three, and it's giving you an order which one you're supposed to do it. Me being the stupid person I am, I kept doing them in the wrong order for some strange reason, and I was getting so frustrated, like, why doesn't this work? Why isn't it working? I'm doing it right. And I was just doing them in the reverse order, apparently. Apparently, like, I thought that uh, three men go first. So I'm, I apologize for being so stupid. And I, and I, I, I have to issue a formal apology to Manti Teo for calling him stupid, especially since you're about to watch me just continually fuck up for like a good like minute. Oh, that's here, and boom goes the dynamite. I'm like, okay, this is easy. I got this in the bag. Let's see here. I'm gonna fucking look at this pro beetle, by the way. Look at the pro beetle flying. Do I hit the sides? No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm fucking flying this thing like a G6. Like a G6. That's kind of a really old song. See, and look, it shows you the fucking order. And I keep... Look, I just... I keep going back to this one. I don't... I don't know what's wrong with me. Why am I so stupid? <laughs> and then I, I... I immediately attempt to do it basically like the same order. And then I don't have Pro Beetle skills right there. But hello. I learn. I learn all the time. See, then I try to do it the exact same order that, that than I did last time. That didn't work. I just, I'm so like stupid. <laughs> it's like it'll work this time, guys. Guys, hear me out. Hear me out. Maybe last time it just didn't work for like no reason at all. Maybe I got this. See, look at then I try. I try doing it reverse order, apparently, and I'm just. Oh god, I'm so stupid. And then... Oh, 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 oh. 
trying to go to the, the last one first. It's here. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go again. Even more attempts. Oh, let me hit the last one first, apparently. Let's see here. Let's get the second one here. Just keep flying that beetle. Keep flying and messing up and making myself look like I'm stupid. Just, that's how I roll. I'm like as American as they come. I think we'll... It was the How I Met Your Mother th reference where uh, Robin is trying to get American citizenship, and uh, I think she doesn't know who. Uh, oh God, who was it? I think I don't know. It's something to do with some like actor and something, but uh, she says like the wrong actor, and then okay, it was a Who's Ernest, and it's a uh, Jim Varney. That's the actor that played Ernest in those Ernest movies from like the '80s. But it's Jim Varney, and then she says, like, uh, just some other random actor's name, and then Barney's like, no, it's Jim Varney. She's like, no, it's not. I know for certain. And then Barney goes, I know for certain. I know for certain. And then Barney goes, uh, see, you're a true American. You accept you're wrong, but you think yourself are completely right, and you'll die by it. And I don't know what I had to do with anything right now, but I was just taking, I was just trying to take the, the view off of me just fucking up that goddamn experiment for, like, the past like three minutes i'm sure that's a gross exaggeration but it was, a, it was a long time i used a beetle so you know tapping it let's hear these two uh, these armo statues here let's hear stab if you like if you're really good at timing you can get them like two at you can basically take them out in, like one hit and i believe in a later dungeon there there's some with like three i don't know if i'm just talking like out of my ass but I, I believe there's like an upgraded version of them. Anyway, okay, let's, over. let's fuck this guy up. See, I missed right there. I missed my uh, stab, but it's no big deal. So you just blow the fan. Oh, and look, he, can't, he like presented himself to me. Fucking got him. And then this is the boss key. And it's going to go to the big bad boss room, and it's so fucking cool. Especially like after this, uh, this dungeon, it's like the coolest cutscene ever. It's just it's this Link being badass. It's like a huge story development. And just Link being badass. And watching badass things happen. And I sound like I'm a 12 year old. Because I love watching badass things happen. Because they're so badass. But freaking alright. Giggity. Let's see. I, I just realized I could just go down that ladder right there. But whatever. I, mean, I want to take the fan route. You know just, just to use this gust blower a bit more. So I can be cool. That's what the cool kids do. So you just check the map. There's a treasure chest over there that I didn't get, but let's see. I noticed there's the, the door I have to go to. Okay. Oh, it's right there. Yay! Hooray! Yay! Kermit Foil! Now, kids, I don't recommend jumping off random things when you don't make sure it's okay. And fucking this. See. These are conveyor belts that add the extra challenge of avoiding steam, which I fail completely. I fall, I fall a lot. I think that, that probably accounts for most of my fucking deaths in this goddamn game, or not deaths, but most of the time, like I lose health. It's just like falling. It's not like enemies too much, although I do get fucked up by enemies as well. I'm not saying I'm perfect at this, but hey, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm getting better. <laughs> And, and then I, I like in like the next video I get like fucked up or something. But next video is the boss battle, which I actually do this boss battle very straight up, and I do very well, and I'm very I'm very proud of myself by how well I do that boss battle because it's fucking amazing, fucking right. Let's see, and then there's just like more goodies over here, so I'm just gonna walk here, grab some rupees, you know, acquire currency, get bitches. Or Link's case, acquire rupees, get bitches. See, so, yeah, I'm just gonna pull down this block right here so I can get to this area, just in case I fuck up too bad, or just in case I have to like save and go. See, it's all—it's like the whole thing is just in case I have to leave, because no one ever wants to have to save in the middle of this, a Zelda dungeon. It sucks. It's not fun. It's just absolutely terrible. In games like Twilight Princess, or I—I I don't think there was one in Majora's Mask where you really could save like inside or you can oh, maybe you can use the the song of soaring to maybe make a spot in there okay i don't know i'm talking about mass but it's not like this game has save points in the dungeons though so it makes it a bit easier 
but it's not like a Ocarina of Time or a Twilight Princess where you can have like an item that saves your that lets you warp out of the dungeon. You can warp right back to where you were. So in like some of the bigger dungeons, these save statues are like few and far in between. So yeah, it gets kind of gets kind of awkward. See, and then speaking of me being awkward, I'm gonna fail some more right here, especially trying to freaking <sighs> blow this freaking. See, I, I grab my bug net and I'm trying to fucking go, 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 go. Oh damn it! It's really awkward because I have to go back here, bring the cart back. Deactivate the time crystal. Activate the time crystal again. And then make my attempt. And it takes a long time just to just, just to get a retry. And it's really awkward, especially since like See, and I keep grabbing my fucking bug bug net. I don't I don't know why. Let's see here. Do I get it this time? I don't think so. Am I G? Am I G? No, wait, oh no. Nope, I failed. Time to retry again. So let's see. grab the lever cart comes back. I'm gonna run over to the cart. Stab. And I think I think third time's a charm, guys. Let's see if I can pull it off. Pull out my bug net again. It's not a good sign. Okay guys. Okay. We're moving along. We're moving moving right along. And then boom goes the dynamite. Fucking got him fucking got him just pull over this uh, time cart because you need it in order to use the, the boss key on the door but first I'm going to go save and that about concludes this pretty bad walkthrough this well, pretty bad walkthrough, this pretty bad voiceover for, for this one so let me okay, what, I'm, what am I doing here? okay, whatever so <laughs> that concludes this video so see you later guys Penis.